the power of rumors on this perfect spring day with the Chinese roses in full bloom, the water glittering in the sun. Uh, May 12th, I received a message in the afternoon from a colleague who works in media. So I took it seriously. I usually don't, but I thought at least it might be true because uh, this guy is connected to a lot of uh, journalists uh, who might have insights in the government. And this message basically simply says um, the city government will announce in the daily press conference that the city is going to go on a strict lockdown. Uh, even the delivery services will be stopped for three days. And obviously those who have followed the Shanghai situation in the beginning, they said it will be just short for a week or two. And then it turned out to be close to two months now that the city is locked down. So people were worried and I went to the shops and at least I can say I wasn't the only one who took this one uh, somewhat seriously. I took it cautiously serious, to be honest. So I wasn't scared or worried too much, but I did notice I've never seen that they closed the whole supermarket and um, only allowed people to to like order outside in front of the door what they want and they would just hand it out with like employees bring the goods and give it to the people uh, i think it's a smart response because yeah people were worried and and rushed to the supermarket and so they they did this response to make sure that um you know there's no fights inside the shop for for like the last eggs that are available and that there's less of a super spreader amount and um, those who know china from 10 20 years back like when i first came 2006 people wouldn't stand in line like that's just something you wouldn't see in china people would always build a cluster around the door and around the entrance and um, especially in the subway that was like notorious the beijing subway how people would push in um, it's totally different now, like especially young people in China standing in line in a civilized manner. That's the word they use in China is totally common now in Beijing, as can be seen also in the videos that I took yesterday in the afternoon when uh, these shops were taking these measures. Actually, one of the shops was still open, but they also would limit the number they, of people they let in and the rest would have to wait in front of the door. And so it just shows like it was this message, this screenshot without a source, without any information. It doesn't even say a date. It just says starting tomorrow. Today they will announce that starting tomorrow. It doesn't say today which day. So it's, it's completely obvious, unreliable. And sure enough, in the daily press conference, which has uh, some 200,000 people watching, I doubt that's the case always, I think because people were worried that's why a lot of people started to look at this um, daily news conference so it's the beijing municipal government daily press conference and um, yeah they said don't believe in rumors we're not locking down the city and sure enough as you can see here i am walking outside my compound so they did not lock down the city they also said explicitly don't believe in rumors do not spread rumors do not uh, scare other people and I guess if they find out who uh, created that original message that was sent around that person is in serious trouble because if you spread rumors in China it can be illegal it's not always illegal so if, if your message doesn't get seen by anyone uh, you know if you say something in a small group with a couple of people then that's not uh, illegal that falls under the Chinese freedom of speech but if you if your message then blows up and hundred thousands or millions of people see it and it impacts the regular operation of the shopping centers uh, might also have impacted the traffic as people were rushing to buy uh, vegetables then that falls under the, the the illegal creation of rumors and yeah i understand i mean it's really annoying that people do these things which obviously weren't true there was no announcement, there was no lockdown. So why do people create a message saying they will announce today that they will lock down the city? I don't know. So yeah, that's my update for today. Again, no lockdown as I had expected from the numbers 
like I still don't see why they would lock down uh, Beijing so um, my my gut feeling was right I did get tricked into uh, believing I was wrong but turns out I wasn't and turns out you really have to follow the official uh, media in China they're usually closest to the truth as opposed to all these uh, rumors and some you know who not just spread rumors but actually actively try to hurt China by creating false narratives so thanks for watching and have a good day